Hey guys, it's the Cool Loser here with a single app review on the Android Assistant. Here's what it is. Uh, I told you guys in the last video for Monday is that I'm going to do a single app review on this because it's a long explanation of saying what it does. I have to actually show you then completely explain everything on this thing. So what this is, is Task Manager. It's a monitor, phone monitor. It does an SD card. It's an awesome tool management for all in one app and I'm going to show you exactly how to work and what to function with it. As you can see here it'll do your CPU info and see what's going on. Idle means it's good, it's all green, it means it's running perfect. User 2% of items are doing the system, apps are doing 4% as you can see there. Um, or is the other way around. It just goes that way. And then memory info, what's using the memory info? As you can see here it reacts to my touch and that's why it says user that I'm moving around. Uh, battery It'll tell you your uh, level, your percentage of your battery, and the voltage and the health of it. So you get this little cool thing. You do a quick boost. If you put quick boost, it'll clean up items. You can see there, it'll just like clean up some like catch. It's like a system catch thing here, and it'll um, make your phone a lot faster and smoother to work with. Now, if you go to process right here, you can see here this is what has been using my CPU. As you can see here, my Ultimate Phase Pro has been using 0.62% of my memory. As in, that's very, very little. It's nothing. Uh, I have around 512 megabytes of uh, memory internal on my phone. So 0.62 is nothing. Uh, Swift key, not a lot either. Uh, you can just look at what um, apps are being used in percentage wise and you can see it's like oh that application is taking too much of my CPU slowing down my phone or um, you want to kill a selected then you can kill it you could highlight it right here check it and then press right here kill selected uh, to kill it you can refresh to see what else has turned on or how much the, the next time it's been on so that's that's a great one right there and if you go to tools you get this whole column of categories and here you can go straight to your volume control. A lot of people complain how Android is complicated to get into the settings. I agree, it's a lot harder than iPhone, but you know, there's a lot of applications that make Android way better than iPhone, and you can customize it to however you want. So there's a lot of apps out there to make your phone easier, better, and most uh, you know unique into your custom style. So as you can see here, click on volume control, you can set it to uh, however you want to do from here. Um, you do the ringer, you can choose what you want it to come to. Startup manager. Startup manager is when you start your phone, you know, when you do a restart, um, there's applications that always start up. It's like a computer when your application you want to start up. Uh, this is the same thing. If you say, uh, I don't want this one to start up, I don't want that one to start up and that one. You can choose which ones you don't want to start up so that your phone will boot up quicker and you'll be able to use your phone a lot better instead of having to end programs and um, wait for your phone to speed up or applications using your memory. So this is a good way to, to select them. Once you once you select them, then you can just, you know, kill, kill them and it'll just wait until the next boot. So if you go to system here, you can see the system apps that are always um, running for, that need to be started but you can also kill them and you can choose what uh, to kill on the next startup so that's that if you go to batch uninstall now batch uninstall is if you guys want to uninstall a whole bunch of games you're like oh I gotta get rid of these games now you go through all of these you choose which ones you don't want and then you will push uninstall selected apps and you can uninstall all of them from right here on one click it's really cool really beautiful I love this thing um, save battery settings if uh, your Bluetooth is on and you didn't notice, you can turn it off from here. Your Wi-Fi, GPS, auto sync, orientation, your haptic feedback, and you can choose your brightness. And as you can see here, it gets real bright and you can't really see it from my camera. And then uh, out of time, as in you can choose when to uh, um, turn stuff off like that. And it's just beautiful because a lot of times people can't get to these settings immediately. They're having trouble going to the settings. This is going to be an easy, best way to manage them to go to your Bluetooth. Um, you know, like I said, this is going to be easy to turn them on and off from here. And I love that. It's an op application that I know many of you guys will need and use. And, and then uh, cleaner, uh, your catch, catch cleaner. This is uh, uh, one of the best ones you can see here. My browser has 3.25 megabytes. TweetDeck, the market has that many, and then I have YouTube. 
all I have to do is press refresh just to see make sure everything's good if it's good uh, tap on it and it'll bring you to this little part you don't have to have this app to do this but this goes right to it so you don't have to go through the settings just remember don't clear your data because your data is all your saved passwords uh, uh, saved uh, settings that you did just don't push uh, clear data what you want to do is clear catch and if you want to stop it then you press for stop but don't click on clear data because clear data will lose your saved data for games or settings and stuff like that places you've been to so um that's that's gone from there now tweet deck do the same thing you know clear catch and you can force stop it but i don't want to force stop the market clean the market let's clean that clean there youtube clear that and clear that so now refresh and all those are gone and there you go they're clean and now my memory is freed up space and it should be running a lot smoother than having stuff running in the, in the memory so now file manager this is the other extra best thing a lot of file managers out there that are separate the really great ones out there but this is all in one like i said uh uh you can check your all your information like here's uh games um stuff that i save on my sd card this is all the content that is in uh my sd card so you can check them out you can create new folders. You could uh, um, search for things on your SD card. So it's a really great one. Because like I said, guys, it comes with a whole bunch of cool little things all in one. And it's really useful and it's real good. And I, I think I'm going to be keeping this and it's going to be working real good. So like I said, Android Assistant, really good application. It is free and I highly recommend this for First time Android users, you know, the beginners, even advanced people, I think it's going to be a real great one to check out. And it should be saving you a lot of battery and, you know, monitor what your phone is doing and all that jazz. So there you guys have it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Videos every Mondays and Thursdays. Check me out on droidrain.com as well. See you guys. Happy Valentine's Oh, no more. No more Valentine's Day. But here you go. Peace.